This is a demonstration of using a Linux machine with Emacs and GNU debugger to trace the operation of assembly program. This demo assumes that you already have Xming and PuTTY installed on your Windows computer. If you're using Mac, you can use the Mac terminal and Xquartz instead of Xming if you're working from a Mac. Let's get started. First off, launch Xming by searching for it. And when Xming runs, you should typically see a little X in on the bottom left right corner in the system task tray indicating it's running. Next, let's use PuTTY to connect to the remote machine. Um, type in the name of the remote machine. And also to enable X11 or graphics forwarding, drill into your SSH menu, click on X11 and enable X11 forwarding so that you can see the graphical version of Emacs running on your machine. Now log on to your Linux box using your standard credentials. In this example, I'm going to use a example program that I already have um, set up um, to do the demonstration. It does take a few seconds for the graphics to start up an Emacs window to pop up on your local machine. Once Emacs pops up, it's a pretty standard um, text editor, so you can do most of the text editing operations. In this case, let's do the first step of compiling the program. So I'm going to go to the tools and select compile. I already have a template saved, so I'm just going to go change the names, the file names in my template the source and here is my object file and then I, we also need to link it to generate the final executable okay. and now it's compiled the next step that I'm going to do is to run the GNU debugger so again I'm going to go to the tools click on debugger notice that there's a GDB option there click on the debugger in the bottom it'll prompt you to indicate what is the executable you want to debug. Note that here it's the name of the executable, not name of your source file. So here I'm specifying name of the executable, sphere. I press the enter key and the debugger starts up. Ensure that it says that it read all of the symbols from your executable successfully. This is to ensure that you have the necessary debugging symbols in order to debug your program. In addition to that, it's always useful to see all of the information that your debugger has to offer. So in order to see all of the information, go to the GUT menu, go to the MI frames, and click on Display Other Windows Options. This shows all of the different windows or different information that uh, Emacs has to provide. You'll have your debugger prompt here. You will see your source code in here. If you have any stacks, it'll show up in this part of the um, window. You can see all of your registers when your program is running in this tab. Make sure you have your registers tab click. And then here's the input output op, uh, uh, from your program. And then all the breakpoints that you set is shown in this window. So before we debug, we need to first set a breakpoint. So I'm going to go to some line in my source. And I'm going to set a breakpoint there by clicking on the gutter, which is like a little gray vertical bar there. When you click and set a breakpoint, you'll see a little red dot there indicating there's a breakpoint. And you'll also see a message in your debugger window saying that a breakpoint has been set. Once a breakpoint has been set, I'm going to run this program by clicking on the Run button. And then here it's prompting me to enter a radius of a sphere. I'm just going to enter some radius. And now I'm hitting a breakpoint. Notice that there's a little black arrow there next, that shows the instruction, the next instruction to be executed. You can see all of the d values for the different registers in this tab. Um, and now you can go instruction by instruction by clicking on the next line tab. You'll see the little black arrow moving and you'll see the values for the different registers changing. And you can step through the operations of your assembly program and see if your program is operating correctly. Sometimes it's also handy to run commands from the debugger directly. So for example, if you want to print the value of a variable, you can just say print radius. In this case, it'll print the value of those variable. Um, and you can also 
look at the information for the different registers by typing info reg eax and it'll print you the value of those registers so you can do these operations trace the and troubleshoot the operations of assembly program using emacs and the gnu debugger once you're done with the assembly uh, and troubleshooting session use the q or quit command to quit out of your debugger and you can simply close out of the emacs window and that'll close your session hope that helps